three sets today. I'm doing five sets today. I feel strong. Because uh, I told my, I'm telling you guys how I'm training right now. I didn't realize it back in the day. It is. It's three sets. I feel strong today. I'm doing nice two sets. I'm going to start doing a, what I call phasing in and phasing out. I like to keep my tempo up. Keep it moving. Because that movement, constantly moving, only resting when I have to to recover, creates intensity. It's part of the program. As compared to when people rest a long time, I'll do a second before. To another exercise that keeps me moving all the time instead of waiting in between sets all the time. One more thing. Incline chest press over with free weight. Smith machine, free weight. Everything I'm doing is a little bit of a nuance. And the rep weight is changed uh, each time. So I did eight over here for my first struggle. 15 for the pecker. This will be a lower weight over here. All the little changes create a little bit of a change and a difference to have a muscle free fall. So this is right now where I use a little bit for rest in between, because I push myself and I'm kind of winded. So, you know, the thing is you want to be recovered to some degree before you go to the next section with the most out of it. So I'm kind of recovering while I'm setting up my next exercise. So these are my rest periods, so to speak. As I'm saying, I'm recovering. Okay, so I'm going And the rep ranges that I have are just arranged. I also pay attention to how the muscle is fatiguing. So it's more instinctive. And it's, it's more for people that are advanced because I, I train by feeling. So if I need to do three or four more rests, if I need to do one or two more sets, I keep going. I just don't stop just because I'm supposed to do four or five sets of an exercise. I 
right there. I've been around three or four sets. I'm still feeling like I can do more. that time. When you're doing a training program designed to build, uh, build mass to put on muscle, it's always about volume. It's not about lifting more weight. It's about lifting more repetitions because you're going to get stronger when you're lifting with more reps. You're going to automatically get stronger. So putting on muscle and volume training, the volume training is the, the number one result that you get to put on muscle. It's volume training, it's not strength. <laughs> Every single rep that you do, feel what you train. Most people, they get about maybe 60% of their training that's effective because they don't feel the other 40%. They're just trying to get through the exercise. It's very difficult to stay in the moment because your body and your brain wants to walk away from pain. And you put yourself in pain every fucking time. That's it, no. shoulders, side brace. I'm still going to do a little phasing uh, out of chest. I'm going to do a shoulder or a chest press over the machine, one arm chest press, but I'm not trying to phase in. Side lateral raise, so I'll go side lateral raise, finishing off completely the chest over here.
Sometimes when I knock, sometimes when I'm training, like I said, I use rep ranges. And the mistake that some people make is that they, they pick a weight and they don't vary from that. Especially when they have the light weight. I lighten the weight, I make it heavier. It all depends on my recovery and how I feel. Last time I did this heavier, I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling right now for strength. So I want, I, I'm not going to just do the weight for the sake of it, but lighten it up so I can feel it. Right now, I'm combining a lot of different uh, variations of strategy into my workout. So I'll reverse order. This one I'm going to do is now uh, it's an old Vince Gironda uh, training routine. Eight sets of eight, he used to have us do. We do a set of eight, we rest about eight to ten seconds, and do another set. We do that back to back. I'm going to do about morning, I'm going to do about three of, three of these back to back. All I'm doing there is push intensity with volume. The intensity here. It's not necessarily how much weight I'm doing, it's I'm not thinking very long to rest. My muscle doesn't rest either. So when I hit it again, it's fatigue. All the muscle knows is fatigue and recovery. Here we go. Resting eight seconds. Four, five, seven, two. I'm going to get four sets here. Pick her. Five, six, seven, eight. Set number three right here. Five, one, eight. That's five sets total. Five sets. All right there. Seven, eight, seven. Ah, 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 ah. Right. Hey, we'll, we'll finish the closing the game now. You gotta be a fucking closer. <laughs> now you gotta, now you gotta Snapshot of a workout that I do on Monday. 
there's a quantum degree of exercise which I do in this train because when you're trained for uh, to put on mass, it's it's mindless. You have to do a lot of reps to make the muscle grow. So there's not a lot of changing around uh, as far as doing different exercises within that training session. There are nuances, little slight changes, but nothing nothing drastic. So there's a core group of exercises I do. So what you saw, the snapshot of doing chest, shoulders, and tries with a little variance as I do day in and day out throughout, throughout the weeks. Now, the other thing that is that we talked about a lot of times that people sometimes are, that misunderstand is training tempo. The training tempo doesn't matter. What matters is that you feel the exercise that you're training. If you get that done by up tempo or slower tempo, it doesn't really matter because all the muscle really knows is fatigue and recovery. As long as you're fatiguing the muscle, it really doesn't matter how you go about doing that. And that's the uh, sometimes the misconception that people have. Feel what you train, feel every single rep that you do, uh, and make sure that you're fatiguing the body part. You don't have to go to absolute failure. You can still leave one or two reps in the tank, uh, especially when you're when you're training for muscle mass. What we did here, just to give you an idea, because I talked about pushing tempo. I did 29 sets today in about 30 minutes. That's about a set a minute. And if anybody has, if you've ever done that, give that a try. Because as I mentioned before, when you push tempo, that is part of the intensity and part of how the body responds as in growing muscle mass. Don't rest a long time unless you're a powerlifter doing strength training. All right, that's it. In the fucking story.